Welcome to the second installment of the Canadian Jewish Congress video blog or vlog. I'm Jordan Kerbel, the Director of Public Affairs. I had an opportunity the other night to sit down with Mia Farrow to discuss the humanitarian crisis that is still going on in Darfur. Here is an excerpt of that interview. She begins by discussing her very personal and her very sincere commitment to helping the refugees in Darfur. And then she moves on to the Jewish community response and how our community has played and will continue to play a vital role in hopefully putting an end to this genocide once and for all. When I found out uh, what had happened and rooted around for why didn't I know? Why didn't I do something? Why didn't all of us do something? How could we have let this happen? What does never again mean? Who does it mean anything to? What do we do about it? I, um, it's, it's a nightmare. Uh, I'm haunted by, by, by that, just the fact that it, it slipped by and all these people uh, died in such a horrific way. Died is the wrong word, were, were, were murdered. So I, um, when I read it was actually on the 10th anniversary of the Rwandan genocide, a piece in the New York Times about another genocide that was unfolding in a remote corner of Sudan. I was at attention. And then I thought, well, now what do I do? I'm at attention. You have my attention. What do I do about it? So I got myself to Darfur. And then I became something else. I became a witness. The response of the Jewish community in America, in England, here in Canada, has been immediate and everybody stepped up. And it's just been amazing. Without Jewish advocacy in America, we wouldn't have the Save Darfur Coalition, we wouldn't have the stand groups around the country, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have anywhere near the focus that we have been able to shed on another genocide. And of course, it is because the Jewish people tragically know better than anyone. Mm -hmm. When we say the word genocide, we know what we mean. Um, but I think it would have been very likely a black box genocide had there not been the response that there has been. I think the largest response to an African atrocity since apartheid, for sure, in America mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. from campus to campus. And without that light, um, probably... Uh, many, many, many millions would have been killed. Mm -hmm. As it is, millions are languishing unacceptably in camps. As it is, people aren't safe. As it is, hundreds of thousands have perished. We c it, it's all the more of an atrocity that we can't know precisely how many have been killed. Mm -hmm. But um, it is the Jewish community again and again mm -hmm. who have stepped up. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think it's personal and also I think it's the sense of community um, that I'm, 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 I'm a, a Jewish wannabe.